Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for my 50th video. So thank you for all my subscribers, um, those that have followed me since the very beginning. I give you a round of applause. Um, and so today I figured that our, the video would be rather special. Uh, this video is going to be a get to know me video. Um, so let's get started. I have some questions here. So if I look down, I'm looking at the questions. Okay, so let's get started. So what's your name? Um, Jasmine, as you guys have heard through some of my other videos. Um, I do have a couple nicknames. Um, Jazzy, Jazz, Celine. Um, there are quite a lot, so I can't remember all of them, but um, those are just a couple of them. Uh, what's my favorite color? My I can't really pick just one favorite color, but my two would have to be red and black. I love them separate, I love them together, and that's why my entire room is decorated in red. There also has gold and black in there too. So, if it would have to be three, it would be red, black, and gold. Anyways, <laughs> are you a serious or a jokeful, jokeful person? Uh, well, it depends what it is. Uh, usually, I'm a very serious person, but I can also be a jokeful or joking person. Um, so it depends if um, how well I know you, because if I don't know you that well, then I'm more serious. So it kind of goes um, between a couple different things. <clears throat> Do you believe money revolves around everything? Absolutely not. Um, because money is it just causes a whole bunch of problems because if you have a lot of money then you have people may think that oh well then I don't have to worry about anything but then you worry about uh, people taking your money or stealing or this that and something else so no uh, money does not revolve around anything if there was one thing that did revolve around anything I would have to say that it would be family so but anyway <clears throat> Okay, what is my favorite place to eat? Well, this is, if you know me, this is ultimately my favorite restaurant ever, and that's Olive Garden. I love their salads, I love their breadsticks, and I absolutely love their lasagnas. So, every time that we get to go to eat someplace, that is, of course, the place that I really want to go. Second to that is Eaton Park, because I love their uh, chicken noodle soups and their salads and their Italian dressing which I cannot find anywhere else so I really love that place too so it depends on what kind of restaurant we want to go to but those are my two most favorites do you like your hair long or short personally I like my hair longer because then I can do more things with my hair um, I had it short for a little while and I liked it for about a week and then all of a sudden it became really annoying because I couldn't do anything with it so as you can see I'm trying to grow out my hair it's almost there well not really but it's getting there slowly and surely <laughs> but um, yes definitely longer hair in my opinion is better for me so that I can experiment and do different things with it are you very talkative absolutely not I am one of the most shyest persons that you ever meet on the face of the planet I get really nervous talking to people that I don't know, hence the serious thing earlier. Um, and I I just have this problem talking to people in general. Um, I do better with communication through writing than through talking. So it kind of becomes a problem, but I'm working on that too. So we'll see how more talkative that I get. Um, Okay, where is your dream vacation? Well, I have never taken a vacation before, so um, now I'm finally going to be able to take a vacation. And so I'd have to say my dream vacation is somewhere like to the beach or something, to an actual beach, you know, where there's an ocean. Um, if not there, then I'd like to go see the Grand Canyon or the mountains. So those are some three things that would be my ultimate dream vacation because I don't know. I like to see beautiful sceneries and I love taking pictures of things. So if I could find a place where I could take beautiful scene pictures of of different things then that would be like absolutely perfect. Uh, what would you like your first name to be? 
Well, I really like um, my nickname Celine, so if I could change my name or if I had to change my name, that would definitely be the name that I would choose. Um, I love it because it's very rich in French and I'm all into the French type thing. So it would definitely probably be Celine. <laughs> that didn't really make sense. Definitely, probably. Well, it would probably be Celine. <laughs> Anyways, um... Uh... Okay, who was your first best friend? I'd have to say my first best friend is, um, she's an old lady, she's like in her 80s or something, but anyway, uh, her name's Marge, and she is like my best friend. She's been with me, I could tell her everything ever since I was little, and she's so nice and sweet that she definitely was my first best friend, and she stayed my best friend, um, all through growing up, so I really, I really owe her a lot. Um... What gets on your nerves? Okay, well there are a couple things that get on my nerves. One of the things that really gets on my nerves is when like somebody is really mad at you but then when you're with them then they're all ah, and happy and like nothing ever happened but they really hate you. So I don't understand why people are like that but it's kind of, it kind of does get on my nerves because then you don't really know if they really like you or they're just faking all the time. Uh, another a thing that goes along with that is like telling people that you like them when you don't like like giving hints that you do like somebody like boys to girls and then saying um no I don't really like you I never did and it's like well that was completely different body language but so those are the things I get on my nerves um what book are you reading right now? Well, right now I'm reading a book called The Time of Aspen Falls. Um, I can't remember who writes it, but I will have it below. Um, but it's a really good book. Um, and it's actually, it's very hysterical through the different parts of it, um, between the exchange and how there's no good guys in the world, so the main character thinks until she finds this guy, it's hilarious. Anyways, so I would highly suggest reading that book, it's so, so funny, um, appropriate for any age. Uh, well, at least so far that I'm reading in it, I have, I have like 32% that I've read, so I guess I don't really know much about this book, but anyway, so that's the book I'm reading right now. Um, what's my favorite flower? Okay, my favorite flower is the orchid because it's so rare and it's pretty and it's not like like I mentioned before it's it's not like you can go outside and there's like 20 million orchids but at the same time I don't like how like for one plant it's like thirty dollars or at least where I live so but orchids definitely are my favorite flower um what's one of your nervous habits well I have the tendency to fidget and when I know I'm going to be especially nervous I get a piece of tape and play with a piece of tape in my hands so that's one of my nervous habits I don't know why I like tape but so that's what it is I like to fidget um, but so yeah because <laughs> I get like I mentioned before I'm like really shy so that I'm nervous and yes okay so um what is the first thing you notice about people? Well, I like to have a lot of eye contact with people, so the first thing that I notice is what color their eyes are. Um, the second thing I notice is like how their hair is, or if I can't see their eyes, I notice their hair first, and so on and so forth. So it would definitely be eye color, and then how they have their hair, and then how they're dressed like completely, because it just tells you a lot about a person, like if they're sloppily dressed or whatever, then you can say, oh. Oh dear, you know. So, um, yeah, those are three things that I first notice when I first meet somebody. Um, but usually I just sit back and watch them for a little bit to see how they interact before I actually go up and talk to them after I muster up the boldness and such. But, um, okay, what are some of your favorite smells? Well, um, I have a couple favorite smells. I like a lot of fruits and stuff. Um, my mom's allergic to some flowers so I can't really have a lot of flower perfumes but I really really like uh, fruits like I have this plum and sugar um, 
body spray, I think it's called. I have cotton candy, which is real good too. Um, they have a lot of amazing uh, fruit sprays, and I love them. So probably my favorite is the one by Avon, the Plum and Sugar, I think it's called. Anyways, it smells so good. But candy, cotton candy comes in second. So, um, if you could change one thing about your body, what would it be? That would, that's actually a really hard one. Um, I'd have to say my hair, once again, because I like my hair longer and it feels like it's taking forever to grow out. And I really just want to chop it off, but then it will take longer. So, if I could change one thing, it would probably be how long my hair is because I really want long hair like real fast and it's not coming so so that wraps up our video um thank you for coming and joining me for my 50th video if you guys want um a giveaway then just let me know and I can set it up and get it all in the works so uh once again um please subscribe if you like my videos just click on the button above so that you can be notified of <clears throat> more upcoming videos. I have a ton of hair tutorials, nail, nail, makeup tutorials, and then DIYs. So you guys can really enjoy that. Uh, I hope that you have a really good day, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!